Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to see how to implement any damage for a character so we can lose health. And also we're going to do a damage box to be able to uh, achieve this goal. So first thing we're going to start with the damage box. So here under my stuff, I created a folder called blueprints. In there, I'm going to do a blueprint class. I'm going to take an actor and I'm going to call that BP underscore fire underscore damage underscore box and I'm gonna write in it by clicking on space you can enter directly your blueprint so here on the viewport we're just gonna set up a basic uh, way but not a basic way but how our uh, blueprint look so from that we're just gonna search for particle system so we'll just search for particle system, this one here. And when you click on the particle system, you can click right here and search for fire. So by default, the uh, starter pack come with a fire. So we're gonna use that for now. From the, uh, the blueprint here, we're gonna add a sphere collision. So we need a sphere collision because we want our character when our character walk in that start losing health, right? So we're going to click on the sphere collision and we're just going to put it a little bit bigger. So if you lock here, you're going to be able to enter, you know, the number only once, not twice, right? So I'm going to put five and I'm going to compile that. So I'm going to go back to my uh, first person uh, map. I'm just going to drag it here just to see how big it is. So you know it, it's pretty small, so it's 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 fitting with the fire here. So I think we'll be good for that. So we can play with those number later. So we're gonna remove that from there now. So with all that done, we're gonna go to the event graph. Here we're gonna start doing the little logic to lose out when we enter that fire. So from even begin play, I'm gonna drag and search for sequence. Or you can hold S on your keyboard and it's doing a sequence. From this here, well, I want a sound. So we're going to play a sound at location. Or you can do a play sound 2D. Play sound 2D, play everywhere in your level. And at location, play exactly where you need it. So from that, we're going to drag from location and get actor location, which is going to be the actor um, the location of our blueprint in the level where we decide to put it. From the other pin, so the pin number one here, we're just going to cast to our uh, first person character. And the object obviously is get player character. It's probably standard now. Um, so from that, we're going to do reference to this. So if you click on this, and you right click you can promote this to variable right so and it's going to be a reference to our character if we do need that in that uh, blueprint so now if we click on the damage box here so the sphere collision if you right click on this you can add an event so we're going to add the begin overlap and from that we're going to start our logic to lose health so we're going to drive from that search for branch or you can also hold B on your keyboard and it's doing your branch. From that, we're going to search for actor as tag. right? And we're going to plug it right there and the target to other actors. So basically what actor as tag, it's mean that if this actor that entered the sphere doesn't have this tag, doesn't lose L. And instead of casting to our character all the time, it's just going to see if we have a tag so i'm gonna click on none here and just change this for player now we have to go to our first person character and tell our first person character that they has the tag of player go on the first person character class default search for tag right click the plus here and on the index you can add player and you can compile that so we're going to go back to our fire damage box that I didn't spell correctly, as you can see here. So we're going to drive from true and we're going to set timer 
right? We're going to set a timer by event. So we're going to take the first one here. We're going to make sure that it's loop, right? And how many time we want that? Well, I want that to loop every 0.5 seconds, right? It's the number that you want. And from the return value, I'm going to promote this to variable. I'm going to call that ref timer and from that we're going to need a custom event so we're going to create a custom event i'm going to call that damage and I'm going to plug it right here and i'm going to compile this so basically what it's doing we enter that sphere is going to verify we as a we that the player that enter has the tag player which we put in the default class right here and it's going to set that timer by the event. So, so every 0.5 seconds is going to loop and call this custom event here. This custom event will handle the amount of damage that we do receive as a player. Right? So we're going to drag from that, apply damage. And how much damage we want to apply? Well, we want to apply 5 damage every 0.5 seconds. So every seconds we're going to receive... A 10 damage and who's gonna get damage well it's gonna be our first person character so we do have it here because we did a reference at the beginning so this one right here so we're gonna go there and just get it and put it right there and the causer with who's doing the damage well it's that blueprint itself so we're gonna put self here and the damage class, well, you can just put damage type. You can change that, uh, but we're not going to bother with this. So we're going to do compile. And now we need something that when we exit that uh, sphere collision, so this, we need to be able to stop the damage. Otherwise, the damage will go on forever. So we can once again click on sphere collision right here. Right click, add event, and N overlap. And from that, we're going to do our logic. So I'll be on your keyboard to do a branch. We're going to make sure that the player has a tag. So we can just copy this and place it there and put that to other actor. So if the player, I mean the character that exit that sphere collision as the tag player, what it's going to do is going to go to true if it's tag that is player and we're gonna clear the uh, we're gonna clear and invalidate the timer by endo which is this here and we did a reference to it so instead of having the line that go up all the way up here we can just take the reference timer and put it right there all right so we can compile and we're all good. So our damage box is fully functional now. So we're going to be able to test it out shortly. So we're going to close uh, the damage box because we don't need it anymore. However, I'm just going to correct the mistake that I did when I spell it. There we go. So now in our first person character, we are going to implement the uh, custom event to lose our health so we're going to create a custom event and i'm going to call that uh, health modifier or modified there you go and from this we're just going to do the little logic to lose our health so we take health here put it right there by doing a get we're going to take our help. It's going to be a subtraction because we receive damage. It's going to be a subtraction from where? From this here. So we're going to take our pin here and just drag it over health modifier. If we click on health modifier now, we shall have access to that B input here that we're going to just change the name for health. From this here, we're going to drag and search for clamp, which is a float that we need because we don't want our value to go above 
or below zero above i mean 100 and below zero so the max here is going to be the max health of your character so we're going to take our max health here if you do not have this you can just take health duplicate do a float and put max health value to 100 after you compile here you're going to be able to enter this number here i'm going to take max health put it in max health right down here i'm going to save this and now when all of that is set up we need to set our health so we're going to take health drag it over this drag that over there and right here so what is doing well when we receive damage it's going to subtract the x amount of damage that we have so for our damage box it's five so it's going to subtract five from our health it's going to make sure that we don't go below or above zero because you can also heal if you want to uh, but that way it's showing that we are going removing health and it's going to set that health variable to the new number right so we have this here so we're going to be able to test that shortly so now that we have the logic for that we're just going to move that a little bit down here i'm going to do a comment i'm going to call that uh health logic or i shall call that i shall call that logic to my Defy player player health. Okay, so we're good with this. So we need to be able to call this function, right? And how we call this function? Well, we call this function by using event any damage. So we're gonna take the event any damage. So when our player receives damage, it's gonna call this automatically. So we want to drag from that and we want to, you know, call this health modifier here. So we're going to call health modifier, which is right here. And we're going to feed that health with this one right here, which is there. And because we receive damage, it's going to send signal through this. Which is gonna go there and start removing health to our character. And from that, we want to play a sound. It's optional, obviously, but the sound is gonna be, you know, every time we receive damage, we will be able to put a sound later here to whatever sound we, we want uh, when we receive damage. Um, from that, we're gonna search for a branch. And we're gonna, the condition will be less. Or equal right less or equal to our health I'm gonna put health here and it's gonna be zero so if our health is below or equal to zero what's gonna happen here well we gonna die right our character is gonna die so we need to create a custom event and we're just gonna call that dead and now from this we're going to be able to call from true dead right there we go so now we compile and we should be all set and good to go so we're going to take this we're going to do a comment and call that any damage and i'm going to make sure that I click here so I can see that up here. Same thing for this one. So now we should be all good to try this out. So we're gonna compile, go to our first person map, take our fire uh, damage box that we did earlier, put it right here. And we're gonna take action, not take action, but we're gonna play it. And we're gonna walk in it and you should be in the top bottom corner, the top bottom corner, yeah. The bottom corner on the left side, we're gonna see the elk going down. So if we go in, you can see the health is going down. And when we exit that box, the health is no longer going down and will go back up slowly as we set up it earlier. So it's working for this. So our damage, uh, our damage, we created a damage box that we can lose health to our character. So we all set for this. So we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.